He's the Lord who forgives. He's the Lord who heals. He's the Lord that redeems. He's the Lord that crowns us with life. He's the Lord that satisfies us. He's the Lord that renew us. Renew us with a right spirit. I heard Isaiah saying, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. If your name is victory, you don't have to be bound. Because the Bible said, whom the Son therefore make you free, he shall be free indeed. The word freedom brings a victory. The Bible said, I will praise thee forever because I had, thou hast done it. The praise of praise will bring forth a dance. Because the Bible said, is a time to weep and is a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. And no matter what you're going through, it is a time to dance. You can say, I'm going through a whole lot, but I'm here to tell you, if God is on your side, you can dance. If you connected with God and God is connected with you, no matter what you're going through, you can put a dance on it. Why? Because you know that God will bring you through. You know that God has brought you down through the years. And you know he's going to keep on seeing after you. That's why you can dance no matter what you're going through. You say, well, I got some bad news from the doctor. Well, I'm going to still give God the praise. Well, they're about to do this. They're about to foreclose on my house. Oh my house, but I still want to praise God. Well, I got some bad news in my family, but I'm going to still give God the praise. Why? Because God has been good to me. There's no way that he brought me over here just to leave me all by myself. That's why I'm going to praise him. I might be crying. I might be, tears might be falling from my eyes, but I know that the Lord is going to make a way. Somehow, some way, the Lord will make a way. Somehow, some way, the Lord will provide. That's why we gotta be understanding and saying that God will see me through. If you connected with God and God is connected with you, you don't have to worry about nothing. Why? Because the Bible said we can endure for a night. But if you keep holding on, you keep on praising God, no matter what you're going through, I'm gonna keep on praising God. Why? Because joy will come in the morning. It's a time to dance because the Lord has brought you out. Thank you, Lord. He brought you out. He put victory in your mind. He put victory in your body. He brought victory in your spirit. He brought victory in every step you take. He brought victory in your seat. He brought victory in your home. I will praise God because I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. I know that the victory is mine because my mind is made up. I'm on the road of victory. The devil can't stop me. I'm here to tell you to get off the road of defeat and get on the road of victory. Get off the road of sin and get on the road of salvation because the Bible said the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life and whom shall I be afraid of you got to understand we got to get off the road of sickness and get on the road of good health because in the book of Jeremiah it says for I will restore thy health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds said the Lord you got to understand you got to get off the road of poverty and get on the road of wealth I can hear David said, wealth and riches shall be in the house, and the righteousness endure forever. The Lord will see after you. That's why my name is victory. I'm going to walk in victory. I'm going to walk in a victorious life because victory is mine. Joy is mine. Peace is mine. Happiness is mine. I'm going to live a victorious life. Why? Because prosperity is mine. Stay on the road of victory. Because our God is mighty. His plan for us is victory. And with God, we will gain the victory. And God will trample down our 
enemies. Is there anybody here that knows that the Lord will fix it? Is there anybody here know that the Lord will do it for you? Is there anybody here know that God will see you through? Is there anybody here can say the Lord has brought me out and I I will be all right. I'm here to tell you, is there anybody here that knows that the Lord will fix it for you? He will repair whatever is broken. God came to restore what is broken and change it into something amazing. All you need is to stay on the victory road and trust God because the Bible said, he healed the broken in heart and bind their wounds. Whatever was out of order, he will put back in order. That's why I say, order my steps in your word. Dear Lord, lead me, guide me every day. Whatever wasn't settled, he's going to settle because the Bible said, but the God of who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After ye have suffered a while, he will make it perfect, establish and strengthen and settle you. That's why I can say I tried him and he will do it. I'm depending on him because he's faithful. He's dependable, he's honorable, he's loving, he's trustworthy, he's steadfast, he's remarkable, he won't let you down, he will never leave you nor forsake you because all power is in his hand. Jesus holds all power in his hand, he holds all saving power. He holds all healing power. He holds Holy Ghost power. He holds victory power. Why are you worried? What are you troubled about? Because if you are standing with the man, you got his hand in his hand. And you see the water who calmed the rain and sea. I'm here to let you tell. I'm here to let you know. He's got all power, power to raise the dead, power to forgive your sins, power to answer your prayers, power to meet your need, power to curse cancer, power to melt that tumor, power to heal all the writers, power to save a sinner, power to sanctify you. He died for 
victory. And now I'm walking in your victory. Cause your power is within me. No giant can defeat me. Cause you hold my hand. No fire can burn me. No battle can turn me. No mountain can stop me. All because uh, you holding my hand. And the reason you holding my hand, uh, why? Because my name uh, has been changed. Uh, I'm not a defeater, uh, but I got the victory. Uh, my name is victory. Look at your neighbor and say, my name. Oh, come on, say, my name is victory hallelujah now i want you to put your hands uh, and give god some praise if you know that your name has been changed to victory come on and let's give god some praise uh, my name is victory Thank you, Pastor. I really appreciate you allowing, allowing us to come in today to celebrate our incredible family member as we are here today recognizing her at our church here in Chicago. And it's the Monument Faith Church so that all of you who are watching us today can see how important it is to cherish the family, to celebrate family, and certainly when you have a family matriarch, as we are fortunate to have, we want to make sure that you can see how we love her, how we support her, and how the community supports her to ensure that our community and our village stays relevant and stays prepared for the next generation. So we want to thank you for joining us and allowing us to celebrate Miss Lucy Banks' birthday today who is 93 years young. We love you and we are so proud to be here to celebrate your birthday. Thank you Monumental Faith for allowing us to bring the world into your sanctuary and sharing with us the love of your community. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am the firstborn of Mama Lucille Banks my 93-year-old angel, that's what I call her. She's my angel on the planet. I've been her caregiver since 1990, and we're still holding on, and she's doing very good for 93. She's self-sufficient most of the time, so she doesn't make my job hard. And I just want to say, Mom, I love you. I thank God for you, and I have no hidden agenda. I do what I do for you because I love you. Hi, my name's Janetta, also known as JJ. I live in Columbus, Georgia. I'm here celebrating my mom's 93rd birthday, and it has truly been a pleasure and an honor to see her over the years just live life, and she's looking good, feeling good most of the time, and I just love my mom. I talk to her every single day, sometimes three, four, four times a day, just checking on her. So it is a blessing that I was able to come from Columbus, Georgia to celebrate her. Mom, I love you. I celebrate your life. I celebrate your legacy. I celebrate your love. It has truly been a pleasure to be the seventh child. I'm the seventh of nine children. So I'm number seven, and so for that I say, I love you, Ma, I thank you, and I praise you, and I praise God for still allowing you to be here with us another day. Well, I'm the grandson of Miss Lucille Banks. She's a wonderful grandmother, woman, mother, auntie, friend. I uh, talked to y'all about her character. She's the most selfless woman I've ever known the most caring, cherishing, most understanding. She'll talk to you about anything. If you're hungry, she'll feed you. And she'll still in you love, peace, and dedication. 
in the understanding of God. This woman will love whoever need love. Not enough words to explain this woman, but if you ever known love or appreciate the feeling of understanding of love, God, of any type of understanding, you will understand her. So it's my grandmother and I love her, and I'm glad to have her as a part of my life. Amen. What can I say about my mother? She's selfless. She's caring. She's like um, a mother to everybody. She feeds the world. It doesn't matter who you are or what walk of life you come from. She gives looking for nothing in return. And I'm grateful for that because she taught me a lot of things about caring. And I think about what the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will men give unto your bosom. I don't ever remember a hungry day except for when uh, she fixed liver, because I don't eat it. <laughs> But other than that, even though she gave and gave and gave, we I don't recall ever being hungry. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for her uh, teaching me the ways of life. So if she's here or if she's gone, I'll be able to stand and do what was necessary. Learn some tricks of the trades, of the cooking. <laughs> and, and I'm grateful for that because, you know, it'll still send her legacy on if she's not here. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for her being a friend, a grandmother. Uh, she was a sister. I think for just caring for us enough to let us be here. I'm just grateful for my mother. And I'm child number six. And I thank God for that, her being my mother, because it, it could have been somebody else. But I'm thankful. Praise the Lord. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. My God, what a word, what a word, what a word. My name is Victory. I'm going to receive the word on you this morning. Praise God. I want you to look at your neighbor. Just look at one person and say, neighbor, victory is mine. Come on, tell them again. Say, victory is mine. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Praise God. Evangelist Pastor Randy Glass. Amen. He delivered the bill this morning. Praise God. Did you receive it? Give the Lord a wave offering if you receive it. Now come on, with the fruit of their lips, give them a hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. We certainly thank God for the word of the Lord. Amen. You know, it's nothing like the word. Amen. You get that word early in the morning. Amen. The word will deliver you and set you free. Amen. We certainly thank God for the message as well as the messenger. Listen, we're in the ninth month of the year, three quarters of the year has gone, amen. My time is just going by, amen. Time waits for no one. We're in the month of September already, amen. This being the first Sunday of September, amen. This is first Sunday, we want to be a blessing, amen. Let me see the hands of you that are consistent. Now I say consistent. And your tithe. Wave that hand. Let me see who you are. That's where it's at. Being consistent. The Bible says, He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. Amen. So we want to be consistent. We don't want to be slack now. Amen. Because time is just going by so swiftly. We want to be constant in our whatever we are doing for the Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, you get louder every time. Amen. 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 So we want to uh, be constant in whatever we do for the Lord. Amen. This is first Sunday. I'm going to ask those of you, are we 
um, goes by um, way virtually. Amen. We want you to get your offering. Amen. And just follow the promise. Amen. A monument of faith. That's M O F E C 2750. And we want you to send your donations in, send your love offerings in, and God will certainly bless you for your endeavor. Whatever you do for Christ is going to last. Amen. You do it for anything else, it's not going to last. But whatever you do for Christ is going to last. So by way of giving, amen. The Bible says freely you have received, so freely give. Amen. Send that donation, amen, that love offering, amen. And those of you that are sending your tithes, you can send your tithes to 2750 West uh, MOFAC, 2750 West on Columbus Avenue, the Monument of Faith Evangelistic Church. Okay, and we're signing off of the air. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap for those. Amen. By way of virtue. Amen. I'm going to ask those of you in our visible audience, say, to get that love offering, amen, get that offering, along with your tithes, along with your tithes. Again, this is first Sunday. We want to bless the Lord real good, and he will bless us real good, amen? The Bible says, give and it shall, well, that, I love that word. It didn't say give and maybe. It says, give and it shall be given back to you in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. That sounds like an overflowing blessing to me. Amen. So you have to believe that. By faith, you have to believe that. Even if it's a sacrificial giving, you have to believe the word of the Lord. And God will certainly give it back to you one way or another. Bow your heads where you are. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for the messengers, message on today as well as the messenger. God, we thank you for your word, O oh God, that you have given for us in this hour. We receive your word, God. We are victorious in you. Only in you we are victorious, and we thank you for it. Now, Lord, we ask those of you, O oh God, that will come by way of giving, O oh God, Lord, that you will just bless them for their endeavor. Give it back to them. Meet their needs as only you can. In the precious name of Jesus, we forever give you the glory in Jesus' name. And everybody shout, Amen. Amen. And can I ask if you will come right now along with your tithes and if you will bring your liberal offering, your liberal offering, whatever the Lord put upon your heart to give, Amen. He sees, He cares, He knows. Amen. He meets the need. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come with a praise. Come with a hallelujah. Come with a thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hi, this is Alan Shea, host of Our Society Show. One of the important things about Our Society Show is it speaks the truth of our society. And this show and this particular episode reflects that because it's my family. Before us is Miss Lucy Banks, who is the matriarch of our family. And we've had an incredible weekend celebrating her birthday and we're here at our church on Sunday, enjoying the praise from our pastor, from her community. And what we'd like to do, and sharing with you viewers and family members that are watching this video, or watching the show, is to hear from her as to how important this documentary is, this day is, and her family. My name is Lucille Banks. And these are my kids and my grandkids. And I thank God for my entire family, from the oldest to the youngest. My grandkids, my great-grandkids, my daughters, sons, nieces, and nephews. I thank God for them. Thank God 
that he brought me this far. He didn't bring me this far to leave me. And I thank him for the strength, for the courage, and for the wisdom that he gave me. Thank God, thank God, thank God. In closing, we want to thank you viewers for sharing with us this incredible journey. This is Alan Shea with our Society Show signing out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and most of all, thank you viewers for joining us. It's a wrap.